Hi, this is Mike 91 and welcome back to GSC Hacking Tutorials. Uh, it's part 11 and the last time I talked about uh, the scripting engine that was, that's building the games and today uh, we're going to do some experience with that. So what I was planning to do uh, would be showing how one of these scripts loaded by the Pokeballs work. <laughs> so let's go with this one for instance. As you can see uh, its type is set to zero and that meant that even the event structure uh, its function uh, its color function bit is four last bits are uh, zero uh, for loading a regular script event with the script pointer. So this means that it just points to this uh, script stru structure that works with the scripting engine explained before. So this is what this one looks like. It may be kind of complicated at first, but it's nothing that that complicated really. So as you can see, uh, the script starts here. First, there's a bit number check. This is the command 31, and it checks for bit number one a zero zero, and if true command is whether RAM is not equal to zero, so when bit value is one, if bit value is value is one, it goes to one a with this pointer, it goes to this offset here, and just shows this text at this offset and the script ends. 18835 is the offset. It contains a Pokemon caught by Prof. Elm. So basically, probably this bit here is uh, set once this script ends because you can't uh, get this Pokemon again. I think it was total dial. Yeah. But before this bit is set, uh, this here is used to change the phasing of person event to uh, phasing down, and that person event is Professor Elm. So if Elm is looking, for example, here or here, he phases down. And this kind of code here uh, is just for a refreshing screen and showing the picture of Totodile and its cry. Uh, text bo box is closed. That was opened with the Pokebit command. And I don't actually, I'm not actually quite sure how to work out with these Pokebit commands because I rarely use them. But next it loads font in the ROM and displays another another text. One eight zero six zero E. Do you want to do the water Pokemon? And after this script command ends ends, it shows yes or no box. And if you choose no, um uh, RAM is set to zero zero, and if RAM is set to zero zero, this is what actually checks that. So if RAM is zero zero, then go to this offset. So if you choose no, it goes to this offset here. Uh, displays text. Uh, think it over carefully. Your partner is important. And again, the script ends. <laughs> and when you talk to the Pokeball again, it starts right here. Execute the same code, and if you say yes, uh, person event 0x5 disappears. 
which is this Pokeball here. As I said before, uh, the person event is the uh, selected person number in Johto map plus two, Elmos two, and this is five. <laughs> and bit number uh, one C zero zero is set from the table one. This one. And some text is displayed. I think that that's a great Pokemon too. Uh, text box is kept open for a while, and uh, uh, the game uh, wants you to press a button before the script continues. Uh, next, poke the text code. I think this loads the name of Pokemon number 0x. Uh, 9e into memory 0. It's somewhere over here. Display Pokemon name code. This is it. Pokemon number and memory slot. And the memory slots were the, those I explained in glossary in the latest part. So it loads it here. Memory uh, uh, slot 00, 0 refers to memory 1. So what this command here does, it, it looks for the name of Totodial uh, uh, from inside the ROM and stores it in RAM address starting at CF91. Then it writes text at 1806C8. Player received text from CF91. So it prints text for uh, player, this is also a text RAM code. It looks for uh, your name somewhere in RAM and displays it. And this code here uh, is one of the text codes in in text codes for uh, writing text from RAM. So this code here, you can check it easily with a hex editor how this actually works out. But this is how PKSV shows it. So it shows uh, the name of the Pokemon written in this RAM address. And next some fanfare sound is played. And text box is kept open for a while again. Uh, and Pokemon 9E at level 5 with Berry is added into your party. And moving sprites are loaded. This is uh, for replacing the font in RAM with the moving sprites so people events can move. When phone is loaded people events can't move. You can try it how it works out uh, in the game or checking uh, with, the, with the video RAM viewer if you try to move persons when font is loaded or dis or display text when moving sprites are loaded so this is loaded for <coughs> uh, apply movement code uh, this is code 68 here moving code for person event person event 00, zero refers to the player and it calls for the movement data and makes you take two steps left and one step up leading the player into this guy's position here and then the rest jump to uh, <coughs> uh, another part of the main script and I think this uh, code here is used for all of the pokeballs so it calls for the same uh, ending code for all of the events uh, uh, the player is made to uh, look up. Uh, it was actually made to look up by making take a step up, but this is probably because of this Pokeball here. You can take it by facing right, and uh, so you're made to face up here. <laughs> it's not important in this script. You could easily skip the command by making this jump to this ahead.
and do it like this. Now it would it would work out just fine as well. But then it displays text uh, for Mr. Pokemon. Uh, close text box uh, and this thing here is totally useless. There's no point in having uh, this stuff here. If I was to make this myself, I would instead uh, remove these, put uh, keep text open here, and remove the font loading. And this would actually m work much better this way. And next it displays another part of text data uh, for show telling something something about the PC here. Uh, closes and another another one of these coding mistakes. So it should be like this instead. Because for making a person event face in some direction you don't have to uh, load moving sprites. Uh, because when font is loaded you can still see the person events uh, just like they're seen when the moving sprites are loaded. So you don't have to load moving sprites for making a person uh, looking some direction there. And next it says something else and gives you his phone number, uh, writes text, uh, plays some sound again for making you receive his phone number, and close text and loads moving sprites. Uh, now some bit source set. Uh, and uh, do trigger 0x5 is for uh, changing the trigger number on the current map to 0x5 and these actually well this one here will now activate when trigger number is 0x5 as you can see its flag is set to 5 so when you step on this trigger tile here it will activate another script and that is the script for making this guy walk to you and give you potion like you can see here and it looks like Parlous heal here but it's potion this is because PKSV is made to work uh, better with uh, all those thir third game games but it works just fine it just shows it with the wrong name but it's potion and you could as well write it this way or like this. But yeah. And finally, uh, it says the trigger number on map uh, 18 and 04 into 1. And this is right here, making uh, it this trigger events passable so they won't be activated. As you can see, the trigger number is set to 0, 1, and these, uh, the flag of these trigger events is 0, 0, so nothing will happen if you uh, walk on one, because it first checks for the trigger number, and if the trigger number of the uh, map in RAM equals to the flag of the trigger event on the map, uh, then a script uh, will be gone through. But yeah, this is how it works out.